do we be funny about this? Yeah, it's difficult, man. Fuck. I just want to puke everywhere. Welcome to Burger Gang. Today we're going to do a little tour, or in fact not a little tour, a fucking massive tour of seven of what I consider, we consider, the most outstanding fried chicken spots in London right now. We figured we'd start the journey at Mecca. Spit and Roast have been here for a long time, but their buttermilk fried chicken Korean bap is fucked. You know when you're about three bites in and you're like, like, what, like, what, what, what is this? Like, I don't even know what's going on right now. I'm zoning. That's, they're responsible for that. One other thing I noticed about them, which I'm rating, it seems that if you want to sell street food here, you've got to have a French Citroen <laughs> panel van that probably couldn't get out of London. The Citroen is... Do no, look at three. that! There's three! No, there's not. Yeah, the pizza one, over there. Do you know what, that's... And, and this is what's great about Spit and Roast, right? There's so much fucking bullshit now in street food. Street food, it's like, it's fucking irrelevant, you know? Serve banging food. Serve it out of a fucking Ford, you know what I mean? That's what we care about. So I guess it begins, right? Let's do it. Let's get chickeny. This is the no-brainer. That girl who's a next level beat, who will, at the drop of a hat, come around your house and deal with you anytime, any place, anywhere. It's perfect. Do they do delivery? What, the girl or the... Here, because we've come a long way for this. Yeah, I mean, you've got to be a South Sider or you've got to be a smart dude, in which case you get on the train, you travel, you come and you experience what I'm going through right now, I'm zenned out. I'm fucking zenned out. One down, six to go from southeast to east. London Fields, we're coming for you, baby. Are we live from destination two? Butchies, Irish guys, fucking buttermilk thons using one of those mad pressure fryers. They screw the top on that shit and it locks it in for ultimate moisture ultimate succulent pleasure times. So, second stop of the day, I'm fucking hungry as shit still, bit boozy, I'm ready to go and get my island on and go and chat to the guys. Bacon, guacamole, and this like spicy, that shit there. It's like a spicy, I don't know what they use for it, but it's got a real zing to it, it's like mayo, but a little bit more drippy. Basically everything you ever dreamed of, because You've got that crispy, crunchy chicken, but then you've got its lid on a bed of guacamole. So you're getting that five a day avocado love. I don't know why I feel like I need to show you the dregs, but this is confirmation that we've defeated another delicious treat from Butchie's Broadway Market. Big up the East London gang. On to the next one, we're going north side. Chick King, you don't know about Chick King. As I travel this lonely gangster road, just me and my Negro, we still got bum hydro. We just doubling it in the night balls. That's when young girls go home. Big girls put on small clothes. A party we will throw. Party we will throw now. Yeah. Just ordered a chicken burger, four wings, fries, and I've got this much change off a of fiver. You know when people say about a taste of home, this is it. It's amazing, it's great, it's like, it's, it's, it's cheap, cheap and, I would like to say cheap and nasty, but it's not. Like cheap and beautiful chicken. And it's fucking providing for the people. It's delicious. You can't quite see it, but there's a huge amount of pigeons in the background behind you. <laughs> I'm single. Fucking shit loads of birds around here. Listen. I don't see many chickens around here. Is there any uh, correlation to the cheapness of this food? I'll be honest, that's quite a worrying amount of birds. What's great, and is a real kind of token of Tottenham, is the integration between species. Seagulls are running with the pigeons like they were, you know, like they were... Fuck me, God. We're definitely going to get shit on in a minute. Look at this. I don't even know what that was. Was that a fucking gunshot? But in terms of the dining experience at Chicken, 
Yeah, they might not have tables in there or chairs or any of that, but they don't need it because personality reigns supreme. Have they got a toilet I can use? No, they don't have toilets. Big up Chick King, big up the twins. Next stop. You gotta tell us where the next stop is. Oh yeah, I don't know where next stop is. Where is next stop is Bye. Cockfighter. Let's go to birthdays, hips the joint. Back into that hits the vibe. What up, low? I'm headed to the east side. G ride, throwing up everything but the peace sign. Gold Daytonas, gang bang persona. Nigga trip, I'ma pop the top off his car. We are at birthdays in Dalston. Quite a kind of hips the horn. What you should care about is this big massive cock that I'm stood next to because this is potentially the most exciting and life-changing experience that might happen to you in the near future. Come to birthdays, order a fucking chicken burger, your mind will be fucking shotgunned up a wall. It's that good. Let's dip in to the cock. I'm saying this is the fruitiest side chick you could ever have. The girl that would do anything, bruv. The body and nothing, no whoa, whoa, questions whoa, whoa, asked. Whoa, 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 it's anything, whoa, whoa, anything whoa, whoa, goes whoa. with her, man. Just re don't do that to food. What, in, what, incorporate the body? Yeah. Okay, but she's a freaky bitch. And it's the one that you're kind of like, bruv, I don't really want to talk about this too much because she's wild. She's in there, bruv, in that kitchen, doing all sorts of things that you don't even want to know about because I didn't even know people did that shit until I met her. She fucking turned my world inside out and upside down. I, she I, touched my body, my body got, my body got moved to, bruv, in there, by her. By chicken, bruv. By chicken. Panko. No, Panko no, fried chicken. Anyway, I don't anyway, even know what's anyway, going where on anymore. Where are we going next? Where are we going next? Chicken sours, see you soon. Bye bye. But, but you're a bit. Met, it was all metaphorical. Oh, okay, metaphorical. Was never, it was pets. never about actually putting things inside my anus. It was about just what? an extreme. It was extreme. It was extremes. Yeah. Chicken towers. This is a, a real beautiful marriage between booze and chicken. Speaking of which, how boozy are you? I am quite boozy, actually. Uh, I would say on a scale of one to extreme boozy, I'm about an eight. Sweet. We no, get seven. 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 Should we go get eight? Let's get. I'd like to be nine. Chicken Sours is definitely the sexy spot, the sort of place you want to take a girl on a hot day. Dark vibes, low lit, not the sort of place you roll in with 10 man trying to get fucking boozed up. Amazing, exciting cocktails, interesting concepts with the menu, and a fried chicken burger that you can really show off what an alpha male you are with, because it's basically the size of your head. It's an outstanding piece of fried chicken. Delicious, like fabulous. I want to go back in there now, and I've just left. So I figure that out. I mean, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but that's how I feel. For me, them sours really sealed the deal in what was a delightful dining experience. So I'd just like to take my hat off that I'm not wearing and big up Kyle and say, listen, mate, this is quite a nice little fucking establishment you're running down here in Middleton Road. Big up yourself, but we're on to, uh, you know, serious guys, drinking whiskey out of fucking little bottles. Big up Lucy, don't want to see that. Your husband's a drunk, all righty. At this point, things got a little bit dark. I get a little bit shouty and explicit, and uh, the message of what we're trying to get across becomes a little bit frayed. I can't ever fault Reddos, top street food dons, and this is no exception. Undeniable, unbelievable, bad boy fried chicken bun. Bad boy drinking. Last but not least, white men can't jerk. I love Steve and Dave from the bottom of my heart, but today I feel like I let them down. Healthy vibes as well. Big up the champagne bubblers. 
Who's cooking first? Steve, but white men can't grab. Dude, look at the camera and focus. I'm talking to Nick. There comes a time in every man's life where you eat so many fried chicken burgers well, that you hate right yourself. <laughs> so rather than give up and quit, all you have to do is you have to you have to find a new path. We came to White Men Can't Jerk, a magic roundabout, and got reintroduced to another variety of fried chicken that we know and love. The chicken wing. The sauce that these guys fuck with as well. Mad zingy, but super sweet as well. So it's just keeping that happy balance of heaven and hell going on in your palate. I feel like I should go and sit on a rock looking over the sea and just be like, basking and just, just kind of soaking up what's happened today. Soaking up all of that fried delights that today has been all about. Kind of an unusual end to what was one of the most fantastic days of my life. Boozing and eating fried chicken. It's been perfect. It's been beautiful. It's been Burger King. My bucket list of life is complete. I suggest you do the same. And sticking things up your anus? I'm just going to pass on that. I mean, that was that was a side of talking. I, nothing's ever penetrated this body hole. It's like that. Cat's ass. That's all, folks. What up, low? I'm headed to the east side. G-Ride throwing up everything but the peace sign. Gold Daytonas, gang bang persona. Nigga trip, I'ma pop the top off his corona. As I travel this lonely gangster road, just me and my Negro. We still got bomb hydro. We just doubling it in the night balls. That's when young girls go home.